So markup. Um, we're going to solve some application problems with markup. So thinking about what is markup and who, who does this, right? It would be nice if nobody did it. But here's the basic thing. Think about um, any, any vendor, any place that you go, any store that sells something. So let's just say Walmart. So when Walmart buys something from a different company to sell, so let's say they buy pillows and they buy the pillow for $5, they don't turn around and sell it to you for $5, they turn around and sell it to you for $10, right? That difference there is called a markup. So for a company, when they take the price of what they paid for it, add something to it, make it higher, that's called markup. So who does it? Basically, it's businesses, people who are buying and selling of goods. You buy it for a certain amount, you mark up the price, and then you sell it. That's how you make profit. That's how you, you know, have a, a successful business is that money that you bring in. So thinking about the math that's part of this, um, we talk about a markup rate in terms of percentages. So similar, if you are familiar with discounts, right? Discounts is taking away from the price of something and making it less. Markup takes that percentage and adds to the price of the item. So if we think about the purchase price, so... I own a business, I purchase an item at a certain amount, I, whatever my markup percentage is, I multiply that purchase price by that rate as a decimal, and therefore is my amount of markup. Now, once I have that amount of markup, then I add that to the purchase price, and thus purchase price plus however much I mark it up gives me my selling price, right? Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So let's go ahead and throw into an example. Fran's Flower Shop bought decorative pots for $12. Fran marked the price up 70% to sell them. What was the selling price of the decorative pots? Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is find the amount of markup. So remember that the amount of markup is going to be the markup percentage as a decimal. So 70% as a decimal is 0.7. And then we're going to multiply that by the purchase price, right? Fran paid $12 for these pots. So if I take 12 times 0.7, I get my markup amount. And 12 times 0.7 uh, is $8.40. So that's the amount that Fran is adding on to the price of her flower pots. So to find the list or the selling price, how much is Fran selling these for? We would take the $12, add the markup, and Fran is now selling those pots for $20.40. So every time she sells one of these pots, she's got an $8.40 profit on one of those pots, right, to go towards other things in her business. Okay, example number two. Jerry bought a $400 device. He then resold it for $640. What was Jerry's percentage of markup? Okay, so think about the two equations or formulas that we used earlier. Both of them had the amount of markup in the equation. And if we remember, the amount of markup is the difference between the purchase price of an item and the selling price of an item, right? The markup is the difference between. So the amount of markup would be the selling price minus the purchase price. So Jerry marked this thing up $240. Now, that doesn't answer the question. The question was percentage. So let's go back to the, the equation that said the amount of markup um, is the original cost or the purchase price, right, the G, times the rate. So the rate is what we're trying to find. So if we plug in what we know, we know the markup amount was $240. I know the original amount, right, the purchase price was $400, and we're trying to find the rate. So now that I have an equation where I have a uh, coefficient of 400 times a variable of r, we can divide both sides by 400 to isolate the variable. And I now find that r equals, if we take 240 divided by 400, I get 6 tenths. But I want that as a percentage. So if I change 6 tenths to a percent, I get 60 percent. So Jerry marked this device up 60 percent before reselling it. And if we think about why we have to do this markup, right? Because it would be great if they'd be just sell it for what they paid for it. 
But remember that if you own a business, you have to pay probably employees, you have to pay different taxes, you have to pay for your electricity and all of the different bills that go into keeping that afloat. So part of the markup isn't just because business owners are money, you know, money hungry. Um, part of it is they have to pay for things. So part of that markup is paying the bills. Um, and then the other part is just profit so that they can also receive a paycheck. Um, just so that we are all clear on why this happens. Yeah, that's about it.